Good. So after getting the class interval, what is left? The frequency of this class. So what is the frequency of our median class? What is the F? You go under F, F of our median class below shows the length of 50 bars in a construction site. So this is the table you'll be told to find the mode and median. So the mode we have, the mode to be the lower class limit of the model class, plus in bracket D1 over D1 plus D2, then into class interval. So the first thing you do is to identify the model class, the class with the highest frequency, isn't it? So the class with the highest frequency, the highest frequency is 14. So the model class is 43 to 45. That is the class with the highest frequency. Then after identifying the class, you have to identify the class limit, isn't it? So this class started at 43, the other one ended at 42. So average of 43 and 42, you get 42.5 to be the lower class limit there, isn't it? Then the upper class limit, this class has ended at 45, the other one is starting at 46. So average of 45 and 46, you get the upper class limit is 45.5. So once you found the class limits, you can now get the class interval I, isn't it? That is the upper class limit minus the lower class limit, isn't it? So upper class limit minus lower class limit, you have? Three. You have 3, 45.5 minus 42.5. You get 3. So having found that, what is left is D1, D2. So these are frequencies. So you go to where there is frequency of that class, 14. You go where there is 14, D1 is on top, D2 is below. Are you see that? So D1 is the frequency of the model class minus the frequency above it. Are you see that? Frequency of the model class minus frequency above it. So you get there D1 is 14 minus 12, which is? So, then you go to D2, it's the frequency of the model class minus frequency below it. So that is 14 minus 10, you get, you get 4. So you found D1 and D2. After getting D1 and D2, you get D1 plus D2, which is 2 plus 4. You get 6, isn't it? Then you now substitute everything in the formula to get the mode. Lower class limit of the model class you found to be 42 point, 42.5, isn't it? Then plus in bracket we have D1 which you found to be 2 over D1 plus D2 which you found to be 6 then outside class interval you found to be 3. So after substituting everything, if you want that, that in the calculator, what do you get? 43.5. So the mode is 43.5. So 43.5 you will receive is within the class limit, isn't it? It must be a value in the class limit inside or at the end, isn't it? Good. Are we together? Yes. Yeah? We are together? Yes. Good. So let's go to the second part of that. You've been told to find the, the median, isn't it? You've been told to find the median. So you come and you write the formula for finding the, the median. So, for finding the median, it is the lower class limit of the median class plus n over 2 minus c over f into i, isn't it? Where l is the lower class limit of the median class, n over 2 is the median, meaning a half, halfway, isn't it? Minus c is the cumulative frequency of the class above there. Median class. Then f is the frequency of the median class, isn't it? And i is the class interval of the median class. So for you to get the which term is the median term, before you identify the median class, you must know which term is the median term, isn't it? And for you to do that, it means it is the cumulative frequency if you take the position of each and every term, isn't it? So you add a column of cumulative frequency because the cumulative frequency column will identify you for you the position of each and every term, isn't it? So here, the first here we have 12, then 2 plus 6 we get 8, 8 plus 12, 20, 20 plus 14, 34, 34 plus 10, 44, 44 plus 5, 49, 49 plus 1, 50. So when you reach 50, it means you've gotten the last term, meaning the last term is the 50th term, isn't it? So if the last term is the 50th term, it means the number of terms n is is 50, isn't it? So if n is 50, n is equal, isn't it? 
So if n is stable, it means we have two terms in the middle, you see there? We have two terms in that in the middle. So it means you divide n by two, you get the 25th term, then you add one to it, and the 26th term, isn't it? So the median terms are two. n divided by two, you get the first term is 25, then you add one to it, then 26, isn't it? So you have the median is 25 and 26 times. So where there is n over 2, which is having two terms, you get the average, isn't it? So it means n over 2, which is our median, is the average of the two terms, isn't it? 25 plus 26 divided by 2, meaning the median term is going to be 25.5 times, isn't it? So you go back where there is n over 2, and you put the value of n over 2, which we found to be 25 point. 0.5. Are you seeing that? We are working with the average of the two terms in the middle. Is that okay? The first median term is 25, the second median term is 26. So the average of the two is 25.5. So you don't go and say at where there's n over 2, you take 50 divided by 20, you put 25. That is wrong. We are only looking for one median, isn't it? But we're supposed to look for two of them because there are two medians in the middle. Are you seeing that? So two of them, you don't work on this separately, you just get the average at once because we are approximating, isn't it? Are we together there? So don't always do that mistake of taking n and dividing by 2 and getting 25 in this case. That means you've only found 1, but there are 2. Okay? Are we together? Good. So after putting n over 2, which is 25.5, so we have 25.5 minus c. So you know c is the cumulative frequency of the class above the median class. Are we together? Of the class above the Median class, so it is very easy to identify the median class. Meaning the C value must be less than 25.5. You go to the C column and you check the value of C which must be less than 25. Point. Can it not be equal to it? Must be less than it. Are you getting the concept? Must be less than it. Can not be equal to it. Okay. So which value of C is less than 25.5? Meaning that is the class above the median class. Are you getting the concept? So if you go to the C column, which value is less than 25.5? 20. So it means this is the class above the median class, isn't it? So it means the median class is the class below, which is? Are we together? Because the value of C is the cumulative frequency of the class above the median class. And that C must be less than 25.5. So if you found 20 is less than 25.5, then it means this is where there is 20 is the class above the median class. So it means the class below it is the median class. Are you seeing that? Meaning that time we are looking for 25.5 term is in this class. And this class you can see it is having values from 21 and then we have the 34th term, isn't it? Are you seeing that? So you come and record the median class here. You found is 43 to 45. After recording the median class, you check the limits, isn't it? Before this start, the class started at 43. The other one ended at 42, isn't it? So what is the average of 42 and 43 to get the class limit there? 42.5. Then this class has ended at 45, the other one has started at 46, isn't it? So the average of 45 and 46, you get the upper class limit of this class to be 45 point. Are you seeing that? So after getting the class, you use the class to get the class limit, isn't it? After getting the class limit, you use the class limits to get the class interval, isn't it? Are you together there? So upper class limit minus lower class limit to give you the class interval is 3. Good. So after getting the class interval, what is left? The frequency of this class. So what is the frequency of our median class? What is the f? You go under f. f of our median class is 14. So it means you found everything. You found the lower class limit of our median class, which you prefer here, 42.5. You found the c the cumulative frequency of the class above it, which helped you to get the median class, isn't it? You found it to be 20, isn't it? At the same time, you found frequency of the median class is 14, and you found the class interval of the median class is 3. So the next thing is just to substitute the values to get the median, isn't it? So the median is now lower class limit of the median class, which is 42.5, then plus 25.5 minus cumulative frequency of the class above the median class, which is 20, isn't it? Over frequency of the median class, you found is 14, then times the class interval of the median class, which is 3. Everything here is for the median class, except C, which is for the class above the median class, isn't it? Are we together there? 
all the values here for the median class except the C value, which is for the class above the median class, because we were using a rank order from lowest to largest data value, isn't it? So what do you have here to work out this in the calculator? Forty-three point six eight, isn't it? Forty-three point six eight. So that is how to determine the mode and the median. Okay, median you must always check is my data odd or even? When n is odd, it means there is one value in the middle, isn't it?